So, coincidentally, there is a convocation of location manage of of, of uh, film commissioners from all the states and countries. They meet once a year in Santa Monica, California. They take over a, a building and they convocate there, and they have events and booths and giveaways and things you want. So I walked into there, and I, I, I spent the day, and I stopped at every single booth, and I asked them, do you have corn? Do you have any subsidy tax credits available? And how am I going to get a film that features children and a lot of scenes made? What are your child labor laws like? Now, I had already known to ask that question because when we did Children of the Corn in 1984, the legislature actually wrote into the law that the movie Children of the Corn for these four weeks were exempted from child labor laws. And it wasn't an unusual thing for them to do because kids in Iowa for a hundred years have been involved in detasseling corn every, every harvest, August, September, which is exactly when we were shooting our picture because we're there for the corn. Everything's lining up. So the notion of asking them to have children work and under certain conditions and for under certain time that would never be approved under a Hollywood picture. This is business as usual in Iowa. I mean, this is 100 years of history in Iowa. So, so that's why the first Children of the Corn ends up in Iowa and for no other reason, the child labor laws there. So I'm getting ready to do this movie and I go and I ask all these film commissioners these questions and now I get to the Iowa booth right in the middle of my day. He says, I, I'd like you to stop here and I'd like to close the deal. He says, because I'll tell you, nobody has better child labor laws than us. Nobody has better tax credits than us. And you know we got corn. I said, this is making a lot of sense to me. I said, but, but let me just ask some further questions. You, know, like, you say there's a 50% tax credit, but what if I don't like your DP so you can bring in anybody you want? I said, what do you mean? He says, it's all you have to do is have them be payrolled by an Iowa payroll company and have their, their taxes paid in Iowa. I said, so, so long as I explain to them that I'm bringing them from California to Iowa and they're going to be paid under the state, I said, well, that's just the law anyway. I mean, that's how you have to do it anyway. I, 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 it's not his choice. I mean, you, 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 you got to report taxes in the state you earn them. I mean, so that's, that's just business as usual to me. I said, the part I'm not getting is, what's in it for the state of Iowa? And he could never explain that to me. I said, because it seems you're just giving money away. I mean, I'd be a fool not to take it. I said, I'd, I'd like to buy as many things local as I can, but you're telling me if I can't, then I can just bring it in, set up an I And he tells me how to do it. He says, you set up an Iowa company. You have the Iowa company rent from California. And then inside Iowa, you, went from the, you rent from the Iowa company. He said, this doesn't sound right to me. He said, it's how we do it. And we're really trying to beat... Why would you do this? He says, we're committed to create a film industry here. Now it finally makes sense to me because I'm old enough to know before Canada had tax deals. And before Canada had tax deals, they had no particular motion picture industry. In fact, I, I went up to Canada in the very early days to try and set up a Chuck Norris movie up there. And I brought it back down because I couldn't staff the piece. And by the time I figured out all the costs of travel and living, the tax deal wasn't looking that good anymore. I had to fly everybody up and house them and feed them, and if I could just get local hire, it would be great. Today, it's a different story, which really shows that if you're committed to growing a business off of taxes, and you follow Canada's example, and you create enough industry, then you will hit the point where the velocity of the dollar is going to generate more taxes paid in than taxes credited out. It's just economic theory at work. So I'm thinking, since I was committed to build it, and I'm getting in on the ground floor, this, is, this just keeps getting better because anybody who I don't think is qualified, I can just bring them in. I can get my own people anyway. I got to go on location anyway to shoot corn and I'm going to get 50% tax credits. This is amazing.